you have a question? Well, I guess in regards to what we're auditioning for, <clears throat> general pre-read, callbacks, chemistry read, how do those vary in terms of our preparation? Well, I think in the first audition, when you just come in to read for me, you should come in and have some interesting things to say. Richard was talking about, do research on the casting director. You can come in and say, oh, I really love that series that you did, or I love that movie that you did. Know who we are as well. Come in with a story, and it could be anything from having a bug bite, like you said, <laughs> or you're moving, or you just got a new dog, or what you've been doing lately. What are some of the projects that you've been working on? Uh, for a, an audition with a producer and director, we'd like you to be as off book as possible. Because the next guy will come in and he'll be really off book and it's not going to make you look as good. So be as prepared as you possibly can. On a network test, you need to be completely off book. You need to bring it. You need to come in there and you're going to be in a very large room that's often a theater. And there'll be about three or four rows of, of executives sitting in the front. And I'll be sitting in the front row and I'll read with you. And you come in and you do your scene and then you go out and then you sit in the waiting room while they dismiss you one by one. And it's, it's really rough. It's really, really hard. But you've got to be uber prepared. Uh, a chemistry read can be anything from reading the scenes with the actor that we have set already on camera or coming and hanging out. When Years ago when I cast E.T., we had all the, we had the lead boy, we had an idea of who we wanted for the lead boy. And then we had all of his friends. We had the, the roles of the kids, kids that we thought we wanted. So we brought them all over to the writer's house to play Dungeons and Dragons. And it was to see how they would get along. And at the end of the afternoon, it was clear that all the kids hated the lead kid that we were going to hire. Hated him. He was this bossy little obnoxious. Like, we didn't even notice this before in the auditions. But they all had terrible chemistry with him, and he truly was not our Elliot, and he didn't get the part. Mm -hmm. So there are many elements that, that go into this, as you can see.